Hey, what's up YouTube? Balder here, and I am in the F-15. So, I'm actually going to be doing a little bit of a test. If you guys recall the, um, Mirage 2000, my video about shooting up w r way into the stratosphere, I'm going to replicate that because the uh, flight dynamics of the Mirage 2000 have changed. And the thing about the Mirage 2000 is that it was pretty much the ultimate dogfighter. You could not outturn it, and you could not outclimb it. Now I'm going to see if that still holds true. So here I am in the F-15, and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to fly over Batumi. I'm going to fly over Batumi until at a really low altitude, about in between 200 feet and uh, the ground. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to afterburner all the way up into Mach 1, and then I'm going to shoot myself straight up into the air and see how far I go. If the Mirage 2000 takes me further than the F-15, which has a ridiculous climb rate, then that still holds true. So, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and line ourselves up. As best we can, of course. Alright, so... Once again, just need to get ourselves aligned. Going full afterburner. I already am pretty close to Mach 1, so... Gonna go ahead and pull up. Let's see how far I climb. As it stands right now, the climb is pretty ridiculous. Alright, so about 38,000 to now. I am in a spin. Am I on a flat spin? No, I'm not. Yeah, apparently that was 38,000 feet that I was able to uh, achieve in the F-15. Let's go ahead and try the Mirage. So now we're going to test the Mirage 2000. Same situation as before. Going to fly over the runway, speed up to Mach 1. Then once I get to Mach 1, I am going to pull hard up on the... Uh, pull back on the yoke, or uh, flight stick, and see how far this goes. Should probably give us a little bit more thrust. Now, in terms of real life performance, I don't know how the Mirage 2000 compares to the uh, F 15, but the F 15, I heard, broke a world record when it came to the fastest rate of climb. So, if this thing actually breaks that record, then. Um, I'm not too entirely sure how realistic it is, but as a. Uh, DCS model, everything will be taken into consideration. Because I don't expect every model to be 100% accurate. I, I certainly know that the uh, 
missiles in this uh, game really aren't. They are crappy, and I'm not even talking about the Mirage missiles, the Russian missiles, the American missiles. They're so easy to defeat. It's unbelievable. Also, though, I do believe that their range is off, but either way, I'm going to just align myself with the runway once again. About to reach Mach 1 once again. Alright, trying to fly upwards at uh, 90 degrees. Let's see how far this takes me. I believe it was 37,000 or 38,000, so this thing is, um... I think it's going to outperform. If it gets to 39,000, we know our answer, yep. And all the way up to 40,000 as well. Well, that is quite impressive. Of course, I have no thrust. Luckily, there is a way to fix that. If you guys didn't know, that's the air start switch. And the engines are back in work in order. Yay. Okay. So anyway, the Mirage 2000 still has a better climb rate than the DCS modules, the DCS World modules, or the Fleming Cliffs modules. That is quite impressive. So, yes, the Mirage still has a climbing advantage in a dogfight. It also probably has a turning advantage as well, though I kind of need someone to uh, dogfight with in order for me to actually figure that out. But with that said, you guys have a nice day.